Time to look to the future! Hey! What's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Kamen Rider G-O-D-X Beyond the Driver! So here we are, and there it is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have the driver, we have a Kamen Rider was... Up top here we have the meat-eyed watch that is included. On this side of the box we have the driver. On this side of the box we have Waz and the driver. On the top of the box, Beyond Driver, Kamen Rider Waz. Hey look, it's Kamen Rider Waz. On the bottom we have the driver again. We have Waz. On the back we have our obligatory product shots. Does this, that, the other things and stuff and stuff and things. Warning and sad Pac-Man! And that's basically it for the packaging. Then moving right along, here we have the Beyond the Driver, and this is the transformation device of the newest Kamen Rider on the series, Kamen Rider Was. Now before we take a look at the driver itself, let's take a look at the included Mirai watch. And these are the new kind of watches that have been introduced into the show. So here we have Waz's Mirai'd watch. You can see Waz's helmet right there on the front. Just a big sticker going on there. You got a little bit of detail. Along the sides. So it's not your typical ride watchy goodness as far as detailing goes. There are some differences here. Of course, you have the rails on the back. QR code. If you want to scan it, go ahead, free scan on me. You're welcome. Of course, you have your activation button up top. Your speaker is on the side here. The battery compartment is right behind this panel right here when you open up these little doors here. And uh, yeah. And just for a quick comparison, uh, here it is with uh, Gio's ride watch. So you can see how the Mirai watches compare with the regular ride watches. So, there you have that. So, now let's get down to the noises. When we push the button up top, we get... Tells you what it is, in case you already forgot. Push it again. I love the voice. <laughs> and if you open up the little doors here, you can see Waz's helmet, and we can light that up. Waz? Anyway. <laughs> so there you have that. And now let's take a look at the driver itself, done in black and uh, just neon highlighter green, so it's not a subtle belt. You'll, you'll see it coming, you'll see it coming. But that's going to be close here, so we can take a look at the details. You can see uh, how this works. It works just like the gamer driver. It uses mirrors to reflect the image on the watch into the center portion of the uh, belt. Here. You can see if I put my fingers on the side, you can see my fingers right there. So uh, yeah, it's it's clever how that works that they kind of you know brought over that uh, that gimmick. And you can see we do have some nice molded detail throughout the belt itself, right up in here. Right here is where you'll be plugging your watches. Again, some nice detail going on at the top of the belt. That's more of that neon green. You got Waz's symbol molded right in there. You have Gio's symbol right there. And the back of the belt. Again, lots of nice little detail. As always, everything is labeled on this show. I believe it says belt. There. There's the bottom. And all of that good stuff going on there. Uh, of course, your on-off switch is right here. Your battery compartment is right here. It takes three AAAs, which are not included. You will have to get those yourself. And there is a speaker right here up front. And of course, since this is a belt, you do get belt parts. Yay! You got a nice bright green strap here. That works like every other... DX belt strap, you just push down on these buttons, it depresses those pegs, there's an R, there's an L, and you just match things up accordingly to either side, and voila, you have a belt. And then you have, of course, the center portion that holds your slack. So yeah, there you have the full Beyond Driver right there. So, without further ado, 
Let's bring in the writer can, cause if the writer can, you can. You know what's funny is if you if you look in the driver, you can you can see Optimus Prime in there because my shelves are over there with my Transformers and it's just reflecting him into the belt there. There you go. Optimus Prime is making a little cameo in the video. Isn't that nice of him? But anyway, let's get down to the noises. So to turn the belt on, obviously we have to flick the switch here in the back. So turn it on and we get... Turn it on. It tells you what it is in case we already forgot. And now we are ready to go. So let's get down to it. And you just plug it into this section here. Get some dancing music. Do you want to push the button on the Mirai watch? Hey, Shreem! And there you go, you've transformed into Kamen Rider Waz. And if we look in the driver here, you can see Waz's helmet image reflected in the driver. And that'll stay lit for a little bit. That's pretty cool how that works. So now we will do our final attack. And to do that, you just want to open up the driver and close it again. An explosions of time happen because it's awesome. But anyway, so there you have that. So now we can remove the watch. No, no, no. That's it. There you go. And we can just close that back up, and we're done with you for now. So what happens if we plug in a regular ride watch? You get that. And as you can see, again, the image there is reflected into the screen. Not as well as with the Mirai watches, but still works pretty well. So that's what happens with a regular ride watch. Just pull it out. And there you have that. So now what happens with, let's say, the, uh, the ride gadgets? They're too big. Yeah. Yes, the uh, the ride watch, uh, the the ride gadgets just register as ride watches, and as you can see, you can't even close the driver because these are too wide. So that's what happens with the ride gadgets. And in case somebody is wondering, and I'm sure somebody is, as uh, far as the decayed ride watch goes, um, the way it's designed, it won't even plug into this thing. So yeah, no. So yeah, that is everything the Beyond Driver does as of now. So now let's bring in the Jiku Driver and see what the Midite Watch does in it.
I can never get this thing to work right in the driver, but you get the basic idea. It just does the same henshin noise as it did in the Beyond driver, and it does the same attack noise as well, so nothing different happens in the Jiku driver. Now, as far as weapons like the Jikan Giredo, uh, you do have to have the Mirai Watch open, and when you plug it in, and pull the trigger, But if you close it up, we'll say was one more time, and again, and then it won't do anything. So, there you have that. It just doesn't want to stop playing music. Ain't no party like a Waz party because a Waz party don't stop. So there you have the Beyond Driver. Um, It's pretty cool. I do quite dig it. The driver itself is very interesting in design, and I do like the way it works. Um, I do like this new style of ride watches with the meat eyed watches. I think that's pretty cool as well. So all in all, yeah, fun stuff, fun stuff going on here. So there you go. Now I picked this up from Ami Ami, but of course there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you're interested, such as a CS Toys, Hobby Link Japan, Hobby Search, Mandarake. Of course there's always eBay and Amazon, but do be wary of their pricing. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for some common Rider items. They mostly just sell figure art at this point, but if you want to check them out, I'll put a link to their site in the description down below. You can also check out my Geo playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Kamen Rider G-O-D-X Beyond Driver, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, home in your face.